Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches, or wherever you are in the world, at whatever time you're having a beer, how about a beer like this one? This is a Mao Cinco Estrella, five stars. What's it going to be like? It's one of the best Spanish beers you can buy. So check out the review. Bien viendos to Rucker's Beer Review. Yeah, that's the only Spanish I'm going to be drink, saying from now on because my Spanish is a little bit poor. But today we're going to be drinking a beer from Spain. This is a Mao and it is a Cinco Estrella, which translates to five stars. So this is a five star beer. It's in a big uh, 660 ml bottle. And well, before we pop this open, I'll tell you a little bit of a story really. So Mao is one of the big beers. If you go to Spain, you know, there's two beers that you're gonna drink, San Miguel or Mao. I mean, yes, you can get things like Estrella, you can get Cruz Campo, um, but if you're drinking bottled beer, these are the two beers you're gonna drink, San Miguel and Mao. And a lot of people in the UK don't really know much about Mao. It's not, it's not, a, although you can buy it in, and you have been able to buy it in supermarkets, I picked this one up actually from Homer Bargains. It's not as well known as San Miguel. So when people go to Spain, they generally go for San Miguel. But Mao is generally the much better beer. The Spanish people, you'll see more of them drink Mao because it is a better beer. And this beer is a, um, a Mao five stars, as I said, Cinco Estrella. Uh, it's coming in at 5.1%. Now, uh, people that have watched the channel before may have mentioned it, have seen the live stream. Um, I lived in Spain for four years. So this was the beer that I used to drink all the time. But back then, drinking it out of 330ml bottles, it wasn't 5.1%, it was more like it was more like 5.4, might have even been 5.5 or 5.6. That was a sort of that was a sort of alcohol. But now there's this one here, it's 5.1. So they've either changed the recipe or, which I'm more sort of concerned a little bit about, is um they've actually um this is actually brewed on behalf, they use the name and it's actually brewed in the UK. I've got a wasp in here, so if I suddenly move out of the way, uh, that's why. <laughs> I thought I'd got rid of it uh, in between my intro and this, but uh, it's obviously come back. So anyway, this is now 5.1%, so I hope it's still going to be as good. The key with Mao is to drink it as cold as possible. So I'm already taught long enough, I want to get this beer into a glass and start drinking it. I've actually got a San Miguel glass. The thing is about this Mao, if you look at it, it's a premium beer brewed in, actually it says brewed in Spain, by Mao San Miguel, but it's bottled in the UK by Carlsberg. So there we go. Let's, let's get this beer into a, into a glass and, and, and see what it's all about. I mean, it's, obviously it's a lager, it's a premium lager. And as I say, I used to drink this all the time in Spain. It was definitely much better than your San Miguel's. So beer in a glass, yeah, I mean, it looks like lager. We've got two fingers of pretty white frothy head. Uh, we've got a nice sort of uh, orangey amber color, lots of carbonation moving up there. Looks like a traditional lager. It's a little bit, probably a little darker than you probably would expect, but you know, it's a premium lager. So let's get some aromas. Yeah, I mean, it, there's not much to the aroma, it smells, it's got that sort of cracker, biscuity sort of uh, aroma. Very malty. Not really much in the way of any sort of citrus. It smells clean and fresh. So let's let's dive in, shall we? Salud. It's, it's a really good lager. It's crisp. It's it's light, but there's a lot more flavour than your sort of, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, your, your sort of typical UK stuff, like your Foster's, your Carl Back label, those sort of beers. Even your sort of more sort of Northern Mediterranean beers, like your Heineken and Carlsberg's and stuff like that. It's got much more flavour to it. It's got a nice maltiness, but at the same time, it's still very sort of crisp, um, as you want from a lager. This is a great refreshing beer. Although I say it's refreshing, the thing is about it, it's very, very dry for a beer. So you drink it down and you get that refreshment. If it's ice cold, this is nice and cold. You get that real crunch, crispy sort of cuttingness that, you know, that any good cold lager would do. It's like, you know, it's, you're, you're obviously tasting the coldness more than the actual flavour. But then that maltiness comes through and then it has that real sort of 
it really dry, does dry out the back of your throat. And what that means is that you've got to grab for them some sort of refreshment. And what have you got in front of you? You've got a beer, so that's what you grab, grab for. And then the process just continues, really. It's... It's a very, very good premium lager. I mean, there's lots of really good premium lagers out there. Is it as good as probably the sort of, I mean, I still think that Peroni is the sort of, the big named premium lager to beat. But this is pretty much up there. It's it's a different flavor than, than Pro. Peroni's a lot lighter in terms of both in looks and in flavor. This has got more maltiness to it. It's got more flavor. It's a really great beer, and you know I must admit there's there's a, there's a bit of nostalgia with this beer because because as I said I used to drink it all the time in Spain. Um, we used to say yeah, do you want a bottle of Chairman? So this is um, obviously Chairman Chairman Mao, you know the uh, the Chinese Premier. So we'd also me and my mate would say yeah, would you want either a bottle of Chairman? And this would be a bottle of Mao. Um, now you could also they also used to do. Um, I don't even know if it had the stars, but they, we used to call it Green Mao. So you had Red Mao and Green Mao. Green Mao, uh, basically the same with a green label. Not didn't have the five star. It was less of a premium lager. It was more like four point four point five percent, something like that, four point six percent. And um, and what that was all about really was um, it was just a lighter lighter beer. And the Green Mao you seem to get more commonly on draft in Spain. This this beer. Although you could get it on draft, it, it, most places you would get things like Cruz Campo um, and San Miguel. This was really the, the beer that you drank if you wanted to drink out of a bottle. And I think, you know, living in Spain, certainly in the summertime, it's best to drink out of bottles because a pint, usually, if you're drinking it, certainly in the during the day in Spain, by the time you've drank half of it, it's warm and it does affect the flavour. So if you're drinking bottles, ice cold, obviously you're drinking, you know, literally half a pint, um, but it stays cold and you get the you get the best flavour throughout. So that's just a little a little tip, a little bit of insight of uh, you know my my previous life, I suppose, in Spain. It's good to drink it again. Whether it's different, I mean, it does taste a bit, a bit lighter, a bit more you know, mainstream almost. It, it, it there was something it had a little bit of an edge in Spain. I, I don't know whether it was because I moved to Spain and got used to drinking things like Fosters and Carlin on draft, and then you drink this, and it is like, wow, I've never drank this beer is so incredible compared with that. Now, I mean, there's lots more beer available. There's lots more European beers available in supermarkets. And obviously, on this channel, we drink a lot more craft beer and all kinds of interesting interesting types of beer with a lot of flavour. It's difficult for this to compete, but I think it needs needs to compete. So, Mao. If anyone's been to Spain and had Mao, what do you think? Do you prefer Mao, San Miguel? Have you never had this? Am I opening your eyes? Maybe you've been to Spain uh, recently and, you know, there's something else. The other beer that I am trying to get hold of, but it's not easy, was another really great beer. It was called Alhambra, Alhambra, which was a, it's a beer brew, um, a brewery name, uh, Alhambra Reserva. Now this used to come in sort of quite a, a green sort of uh, green glass bottle, um, and it had a, had the sort of the, the the Alhambra sort of logo sort of um, embossed on it. And it was a slightly sort of almost like a triangle sort of bottle, a slightly different shape. And it was something like 7.2%, but it was an absolute brilliant beer. It's so good, but you could only get it in very, you know, I know you used to go to a couple of bars um, in Fuengarola, if anyone knows the Costa del Sol, where I used to live at Fuengarola, down Fish Alley, there was a bar down there called Sophisticats. I know it's not there anymore. Um, and they used to have it in there. And so we used to make a beeline to that that place because it was a really good beer. I mean, obviously 7.2%, you did get quite drunk quite quickly on it, but it was really smooth, a really good beer. If anyone's had that, let me know. If anyone knows where I can get it, then yeah, definitely let me know because I'd really want to try it and I like to review it on the channel. So 
I'm not going to do a scoring for the for the Maui because I think with these lagers, you know, they're all it's difficult to score them. I don't think they score well against craft beer because they don't necessarily have the the aromas and all the different flavors. But I just I just wanted to bring it to to my viewers, you know, that may be interested in lager. So if you go to Spain and you go to the bar and someone says, "What would you like?" Tell them. Rocker says a bottle of chairman, and hopefully they'll give you one of these. Hope you enjoyed this review. And until the next one, keep on rocking.